If you want to support my channel, check out a link to my new book down below and a link to plans for this very build you're about to see. And if you want to check out the public debut worldwide of our brand new tiny house film, the box truck film, tickets are down below in the description. We'd love to see you there. So today we are going to build a greenhouse. We leveled up, spread gravel, those okay. buckets disregard for now. There's gonna be a really cool planter set up inside. So started laying out our gable ends. We're gonna put those together, set them up, and then run the four by fours between them. And that's gonna be the purlings for the metal sides and the polycarbonate tough tex roof. Icicles in my beard, but the uh, frost has gone away, at least where the sun's hit it. And we got our first gable up, but essentially it's two gable ends, and then we're gonna fill in on the vertical wall and just sit four by fours one at the ridge, one in the middle, one at the bottom. That's gonna be the purling that's gonna support the whole roof structure, tough text at the top, and metal on the sides. Luckily we got all the uh, gravel spread already, but both gable ends are up. Metal's on there. So I'm gonna cut these four by fours all the same length and uh, we're just going to set them on top of that wall. And that's gonna be the purling for our polycarbonate and for the metal sides.
All right, so that's it. I got the bucket storage done. Let me take you inside here. So a $20 door from the ReStore and about a thousand dollars in materials for this eight by eight potting shed with a greenhouse roof. It's a lot warmer in here. It was 17 degrees this morning when I started. But we got 12 buckets lined up here. Plenty of room for storage underneath. And then this will just be a potting table over here that they'll find and reuse something that uh, can sit in there and that they can work off of. So this is a really cool, simple build. Again, just building two gables and then just using four by fours as purlings, sitting them right on top of there. Being intentional about all the blocking uh, for nailers and purlings for the tough techs and the metal. But this was a really fun one day potting shed greenhouse build. I hope you like it. All right, so that was a whole lot of fun. This is Chris, the Capable Carpenter, and I will see you soon.